Hi everybody, Kai Waza with you and welcome back to my channel and my cavalcade of Hawaiian records. We're going through the letter K and we're going to pick up where we left off. Uh, I have a couple more records by Kahale Vais, but not Haunani Kahale Vai, who we covered in the last uh, video. This one's Ivalani Kahale Vai, uh, a Hawaiian happening. I don't know if there's any relationship between Hanani Kahale Vai and Eva Lani Kahale Vai. I don't know. Uh, this album is mostly traditional tunes. It's the 70s. Uh, but the arrangements are unusual. Some of the arrangements are kind of like almost like a doo-wop backbeat 1950s kind of throwback. Not 1950s Hawaiian arrangement, but like 1950s doo-wop, you know? It's interesting. Uh, because they are all traditional Hawaiian songs. So I don't, I'm not aware of any other album from her. And uh, the last Kahale Vai of the day would be Sam Kahale Vai. Uh, not somebody I know anything about, and this is the only recording of his that I'm aware of, and it is a like a private pressing on Four Winds Records. And what's kind of amazing about this, well, A, it's a, it's a cool record, really nice, amazing for a private pressing. I love it. And uh, the musicians, <laughs> the backup musicians are like, really well-known artists of the day. Alvin Isaacs, Norman Isaacs, and Gabby Pahinui. Uh, and the album is almost all original compositions from either Isaacs, the Isaacs, or uh, Kahale Vai. So, Island Paradise, Sing Your Cares Away, Hialoa, Alawaikula, Waves at Waikiki, Menehune, all poi song, all songs by these artists, original compositions. Like this album, I don't know of any other recording by Sam Kahalevai or what happened to him or anything about him, but this is a great record. I really love it. Uh, next up is a very famous group that had a very long singing and recording career here in the islands. Uh, that would be the Kahao Anu Lake Trio. Kahao Anu Lake is a person. This is his trio. Um, really classy group. Very elegant arrangements. Very beautiful harmony. Very tight vocally. Uh, falsetto singing. Just classy. Classy stuff. And uh, as you'll see from their recordings, they performed at all the high-end hotels. I mean really nice places. Uh, Kahawana Lake Trio at the Kaimana Beach Hotel, this record is, on Hula Records. Um, and typical of Hula Records, great liner notes with song translations and information about the songs. Hawaiian style, Kahawanu Lake Trio. And you will notice, well, you wouldn't necessarily notice just by looking at it, but all of the songs on these albums are all in the Hawaiian language. All Hawaiian language music, beautiful music to um, dance to, hula to. Here's Kahawanu Lake Trio at the Hale Kulani Hotel. Very shishi. Beautiful music. Uh, record just called Kahawanu Lake Trio. I don't think I've showed you Hula record label on this video yet. And again, great liner notes on all the songs. Uh, here's the one album they did that was English language, mixed with English language, because it is Hapahaole Hulas, which Hapahaole just means half white or half foreign, and uh, in terms of music, it's the whole genre of music that uh, was quite popular, like a mix of English language with some Hawaiian words here and there, like Little Grass Shack and Little Brown Gal, and we're going to the Huki Lao and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, a lot of people in the islands, of course the visitors know these songs, but a lot of people in the islands love these songs as well. Uh, Love Song of Kalua is on here, One Paddle, Two Paddle, Hawaiian Wedding Song, Hula Breeze. Then we have Kulia Ikanu'u, or Strive for the Highest, uh, Kahawanu Lake Trio. Again, liner notes, translations.
I think this is the last vinyl recording from them. Then there is kind of a follow-up group called the Kahawanu Lake Singers, under the direction of Kahawanu Lake, but uh, and they sound very, very similar to the, the Kaha, Kahawanu Lake Trio. I think the idea was not to replace them, but as these guys were retiring or whatever, you know, that these guys would sort of take over that style or that presentation. Um, this album is a religious album. It's all Christian songs, but it is all Hawaiian Christian songs written by Hawaiian people. The Royal Patron, Ekola Meanui, uh, Kanaka Vaivai is a very famous song, Hawaii Aloha, Sacred Lehua, Queen's Prayer, etc. This one's from 1981. So, and the group says here the group is also known as Kulia Ika Nuu, and I do have another record by them under the name Kulia Ika Nuu, which I have later on in the case, because that's the name they recorded it under, <coughs> rather than the Kahalanu Lake Singers. Anyway, yeah. And finally today, kind of a lounge record, right? An Evening with the Kalihis, or the Kahilis, sorry, the Kahilis. Uh, if you wonder what a Kahili is, I just by chance happen to have a record. It's a, oh no, this doesn't have it. Okay, never mind. It's a royal insignia, like the feathers that are usually like yellow and orange and or, uh, red and yellow, whatever. That's kind of, the, you see Hawaiian like standing there with these big feather things. It's a kahili. I don't know why they don't have one in the picture, but they're definitely like 70s, whatever, a lounge group here, and they are performing, not in Hawaii, this is, they live and work in California, uh, says here, yeah, living and working in California, so. And it's, uh, okay, this is in front of the Kono Hawaii Restaurant in Santa Ana, California, okay. The Luau Shack is where the Kahilis perform nightly. Uh, Hula Omaki on the beach at Waikiki. I am Hawaii. And a nice version of Quiet Village, instrumental Quiet Village on here. Kahilis. Okay, we're going to stop there and listen to some music. <laughs> Oh, it's been
enjoyed that, and if you like this kind of music, I invite you to tune in to my other YouTube channel called Hawaiian Leisure Hour, where I have selections from these and other albums. And if you want to further delve into it, uh, there is a my online radio station called Hawaiian Hi-Fi, easy listening Hawaiian music from vinyl, out of print CDs and cassettes, and that is on live 365, 24 hours, seven days a week. So, also Hawaiian Leisure Hour on 8tracks.com, where uh, there are curated playlists. So plenty of options there to uh, further listen to some old Hawaiian vinyl recordings, if that is your desire. So thank you for joining me, and subscribe if you'd like to uh, hear more, and I hope to see you next time.